In this video, you will learn about the Calendar Manager. The Calendar Manager allows you to create, schedule, and view items and events for your organization through the Go Contact interface. To access the calendar, click on the Calendar Manager icon on the left-hand menu bar. Once in the Calendar Manager, under the Events tab, you will be able to view all of the events created for your organization. You can see the name, the description, the calendar associated with the event, the event duration, the concurrency of these events, and under actions, you have the opportunity to edit that event or remove it from the platform. You can use the search filter to look for a particular event and adjust the number of events viewable on each page. You can also create events that you can add to your calendar later on. To create a new event, click add in the top right corner of the platform. This opens the create new event page. You'll need to give your event a name, provide an event description, provide the start and end time of this event. So when this event is going to be available on the calendar, under prep time, you can add additional time in minutes to prepare and close out the event. You can choose here to allow concurrent bookings with this event within the calendar, and you can set the duration of the event in minutes. You can choose to add a color to make this event easily identifiable within your calendar. And once you've created the event, you just click on save and Go Contact will ask you to confirm that you do want to save this event. Click save again, and you've now created a new event. The next tab that we have at the top is calendars. When you click on this tab, it will display a list of calendars currently available on the platform. You can view the calendar name, the reference ID, which is given by you, the events on that calendar, the schedule when that calendar is open or available. Under actions, you have the opportunity to edit that calendar or delete the calendar from the platform. You can search for a specific calendar using the search filter or adjust the number of calendars that are returned on each page. To create a new calendar, click on the add button in the right hand corner. You'll want to give your calendar a name, give your calendar a reference number, set the schedule for this calendar, when this calendar is going to be available for bookings. You can add events to this calendar that you have previously created. You can select as many as you need for this calendar from the list of available events. And you can provide temporal exclusions. Days and times this calendar won't be available for bookings. These can be weekly exclusions, and you just click on the day, so perhaps the weekend, you click on the day and time that this calendar will not be available, and click Add. You can also set the exclusions for specific dates, and you just would enter the start date here, and the start and end time, and you can choose whether or not this exclusion repeats annually. Click on Add, and then click Save. Go Contact will ask if you want to add the calendar guest services, you'll say yes. And now here you can see the previously created calendar. Under the Visualizations tab, you can view the selected calendars on one main calendar. Once you have configured your calendar, you can monitor it through the Calendar Monitor. To access the Calendar Monitor, go to the Calendar icon on the left-hand menu bar and select Calendar Monitor. In the Calendar Monitor, you can view calendars by specific criteria set on the right-hand side of the platform. You can filter the information by owner type or channel, so outbound campaigns, inbound queues, or ticket queues. Once you select the owner type, you will be able to select the specific campaign or queue from the dropdown. You can choose a specific time interval. Go Contact has some pre-configured options. You can also enter a specific date range by entering the start and end date you'd like to search in the database. Once you've configured your criteria, click search. The events meeting the criteria will display in the grid on the left. You can view the name, the reference, the total bookings, the booked hours available, and the percentage of those hours that are currently booked. 